You see, it's a telephone conversation between two Barbadian women. And um, I'm sure that as you listen, you'll realize that you've met these people too. You've seen them and heard them somewhere. So you just got to use your imagination a bit. The telephone rings. Bring, bring. Bring, bring. Then somebody answers says, Yes? May I speak to Lottie, please? Hey, Mabel, but that is you. How are you, child? You know how. Try and have a rheumatism. I know how you feel, soul. I had a little arthritis in my shoulder the other day. Treat me bad enough. Well, Lottie, we're getting old, you know. We got to expect all these things. You're right, child. Time will for no man. Yeah, like time do that for a soul, gal. But tell me, how the children? They? Them all right, soul. Them better than me, yeah. You know how powerful children is nowadays? My last little one got a birthday next week. And she telling me already, she got to have a big able doll, baby, that could talk and walk. Now, where are you going to get them kind of money from, now? Nah? You're right, soul. Don't get she none. And what about you eldest boy up in England? Oh, yeah, Frankie, last week. You know, he been up there, March coming is seven years now. Lord of his mercy, what time flying in truth. You know who up in England, too? Who? Freddie Skeet. Freddy Ski? Why you thought I'd send you down to the madhouse? <laughs> no, he come out every saints. He in England working party buses are here. But look at Freddy Ski, a decent fella like he, went to Harrison's College and everything. <laughs> hey, you hear you hear Cinti married? Who Cinti? You mean that good for nothing girl from down in the gully? Oh, my, she saw her. Some old St. Lucia man got a rum shop in Eagle Hall. <laughs> I hear he got a Toyota, too, and a house in Regency Park. You make his sport, but Cindy must be really surprised herself. Then, lie, I went to the wedding. She didn't knock him down, the minister. <laughs> oh, she, she did, she did. Oh, you mean name. You know how it is with Saint T. You're telling me. I wonder if she and she husband going to be at Rudy christening. You going? Me and Rudy don't speak, so. For true? You ain't know? Yes, boy. She taught my nephew, her Milda Padmore, and her Milda Padmore come back and tell me everything she say. <laughs> you mean it to tell me Rudy do a thing like that? That's right. Ermilda wouldn't tell me no lie. I can't begin to tell you the things she say about me. Anyhow, I get with feel to go up at she house and curse she stink, stink, stink. <laughs> but look at that, though. And she always says she's a friend of yours. I tell you, I don't know who to trust these days. But are you so mine, is she? The Lord looking after me, soul. <laughs> You're right, child. Hey. I was to tell you about Perlita Sergeant. What happened to she? Calic, she done? Nothing good like that don't happen, soul. <laughs> she went in that Fogarty the other day and carried a whole lot of things. Face cream and nail polish. And what happened? She get catch? Eh? She get catch? Was she in prison all like now, so? Lottie, you skylarking. Lord, strike me down if I tell a lie. But Perlita did always such so, a so quiety, quiety. Them is the ones, child. But it always not Perlita did no sweet bread. Not since the day she and Dulcie had that fight outside Mr. Sober's shop. When I tell you, she beat up that girl Dulcie Burke bad, bad here. And talking about Dulcie Burke. <laughs> I see she in Broad Street saying she shopping one day last week. People like she got the time for all that kind of thing, so the gal. She get read out the church, you know. So I did hearing. How she looking now? She change? She, she ain't changed one bit. Said where she always did. She had her armhole dress, short herself, but all she big able legs outside. <laughs> she isn't have no shame, you know. I know, child. 
She still thinks she's a young yam. Always in sheds and, and pretty, pretty sounds and swinging she bought. She's like a windmill. Remember she's sister Eleanor? You mean, you mean Tashti Eleanor? That is always where a lot of gold bangers and Demara gold and thing? That is the one. Well, anyhow, she driving a motor car these days. Lottie, watch her, tell him. Eleanor ain't got any money for neither motor car. Maybe you ain't got any sense, you know. Eleanor Burt tell you she want money to buy a motor car. You ain't know she living with Fitzroy Skinner. You mean that backward Johnny that got locked up about three years ago? He is the one. You know he'd keep a whole lot of money, and even when he went where nobody never find it. And now he come out of jail, he still got the money. Don't ask me where he had it stored where. But he living in style with Eleanor Burke. So is he cash driving? You know, I understand. I said she backing out the garage down the road one day this week. Handed the wheel like a man. She always had enough style, you know. Uh, but look what could happen to her. Eleanor Burke, driving boat in motor car. Uh, and I hear the man Fitzroy Skinner now building a supermarket in town. But look at Hina, T-40 man, you know, playing his one big shot. You know, you read already, so he must be feeling some Englishman now. I never did like he, you know, look like Tom Rick's self. Deed and fit. I was to ask you, you see Francine Goring lately? <laughs> no, but here she gone to America. She got some oil out of there, Sam, for she. Ah, uh, hey. Some people got luck, don't her? Cause to tell you the truth, she don't even wear since she time here. She ain't got no sense, you know, not since Millicent's brother turned she, hey? Hey, uh, what will become a he? Married, if you please. Sudden sore. Child God is good. Hooter. Some foreigner, light skinned girl from down in the islands. You, you is a me, that little bony girl that come over the other day. Mm hmm. Wow, a lot of gold teeth in she mouth. Oh, I know she, yeah, I know she. She too rakey, though. I sure a good heart when we blow she down. I, I doesn't really like to say it, but it looked to me like if she got a human consumption. <laughs> God forbid. But she's a good little clipper, though, says she dear. She did carry an obvious thing clear before Millicent brother married she, you know. He did get to England, too, you know. He, too? Lord of his mercy. Sam Poochie, duppy up in England now. He still got the lame foot? No, oh, no, like it get better, thank the Lord. Yes, I'm glad to hear that. Sinclair did a nice young man, always in church. Talking about church, Mabel, I shame to tell you I hasn't been for over two months now. I feel bad enough about it, you know. I was to tell you that Pastor Clare is asking for you last Sunday. Harvest is next month, you know, and you must come to the revival meeting Friday night out on the bare land. Yes, joy, like I got to go. We can't live without a little spiritual food, you know. You're right, soul. Not like all these young people who only wants to paint up themselves with enough lipstick and then go and shake up themselves in some dance hall on a Saturday night. But some of the old ones just as bad. Just as bad. I try to get that husband of mine to get his soul saved. Cause you hear what I'm telling you? The day of judgment draweth nigh. You ain't see how all these Americans driving motor cars up on the moon? Signs and wonders, soul. Signs and wonders. You're right, soul. Revelation tell me all these things. And that is why we got... Shh! Oh, Lord, child. Excuse me, but that, that young woman, Ambrosine, you know the one I'm meaning? She stopped at the front gate like she coming in. I can have to hear you later on. Here, I can hear another time. All right. I wish you luck with Ambrosine. You know how malicious she is, always licking she mouth for everybody. <laughs> I know, soul. You know, I don't talk in the body name. <laughs> so, if she talking... She'll be talking to herself. <laughs> All right, soul. Hey, 
You must let me know if Delaford and Sheila still together. I hear she'd be shot bad, bad, you'll like this, so I shot from that because you're all right, all right, and you got a ring off now. I'll see if you can find a date about Cassie, and you know who. Yes, I got Axe Myrtle, and don't forget, shh, she got me through the front door. Well, I go on here, um, I will let you know soon about the tomatoes and the butter beans. <laughs> <laughs> you smart enough, I'll see you soon here. Bye-bye. <laughs>